In, in the best case uh, scenario, coral reefs dictate their own environment because the corals themselves are the architects of the system. That is, they, they build atop one another and form a reef uh, eventually, once they have sufficient thickness, which we would expect to be well predisposed to dealing with this kind of stresses they have to endure, such as temperature and so on and so forth. Uh, at the moment, we're facing a sort of crossroads of coral reefs in that uh, we have significant warming of seawater, and that's starting to uh, degrade them. In the Red Sea, we have this special case where the morphology of, of the coral reef itself is not dictated so much by the coral architects. Instead, it's to do with a pre-existing template which was formed in recent geological history because of very high rainfall in the region which eroded a, a template. Once sea level rose up and covered that template, of course the coral started to colonize it, but they are not then colonizing a reef or, or form which is optimized uh, for them to deal with their environment. They are not the architects in this case, and that may be very relevant as we look at the resilience of these particular reefs in the face of changing climate.